Hello and welcome to Tamar Caravan Centre. For this video I'm going to show you how to use and operate the Sargent Power Supply Unit. So this little black button here is the system shutdown button. This button here is you press this one uh, on, down is on um, and that operates the whole power unit. If you press it again it will pop up and that will turn the unit off. Um, we don't really recommend that you turn the unit off um, all the time or when you're keeping it in storage which some people do do. Um, the reason for that on this particular van which is the Swift uh, it has a communication tool called Swift Command. Um, if the power shutdown button is off um, then uh, you can communicate with the van remotely. Also if you have a solar panel the solar panel will not give the charge uh, to the leisure battery so really we do recommend that you leave the system shutdown button on as much as you can. So this one here is a reverse polarity warning LED light mainly used for if you're going into Europe um, if you plug into a site and this little warning light comes on red the van is operating in reverse polarity what that basically means is it's coming in negative so it's going to be coming appliance then breaker um, what we obviously want it to do is come in through the breaker so if anything negative comes in it'll trip one of the switches or trip a fuse uh, as opposed to blowing the appliance so when you plug into a site in Europe and this little warning light glows red um, then you would need to that means it's coming in reverse polarity so um, there's a little button, two little buttons just here. The green one's for the charger or charging. Um, so when it's off, that means the charger's not working. When it's on, the charger is. This is the charger unit just here. Um, if you um, rub your hand across and it feels quite warm, don't panic. Uh, it does get quite warm un under there. Um, the charger unit is basically when you plug into mains uh, on your site or, or at home, um, that charger is going to be charging your leisure battery. So you've got um, two ways on board that you can charge your leisure battery. Uh, one is through the charger unit plugged into mains and the other one is through the solar panel. Uh, the other option is obviously to take the battery out and charge it off uh, an independent uh, charging system. So the orange switch here is for the heating and hot water system. So um, when the light is off, that means it's not operational. When it's on, it means it's active and ready to be used. Uh, this is all controlled off the control panel. On this particular van, it's a Truma, uh, which has got the combi boiler over there and the control panel up there. And it's the same system if you're using the Aldi system as well. Uh, you need to make sure that the orange light is on to be able to activate the heating system. So in this section here, this is for the 12 volt fuses. Uh, there are simple just blade fuses. If you find that one of these have popped, a little LED light will glow red like that. So you know that that fuse is blown. What you need to do is just find another replacement fuse, um, pop it back in to the little holder. The LED light will go back out there. So that's all for the 12 volt fuses on that one. This is for your 230 supply to the van. Uh, so this little yellow button just here, this is a test button. Um, so if you've plugged into the mains and you're not getting any power, a uh, good thing to do is just uh, press this little yellow button. If the, site lead, if the site is giving power to the van, that won't trip over. If it is giving you power, then it will trip over like that. You just simply just put it back on. So if it doesn't trip over, you know that the site's at fault. If it does trip over, um, everything's being supplied as it should. Um, then you've got uh, simple trip switches like you have at home in a domestic 230 system. If something negative comes in, it'll just trip the switch over. You just flick it back over um, like that. So on this particular van, if you pull down this little cupboard here, uh, there's a little um, map and description of um, everything in the control unit. Uh, so on this side here, it tells you that the 12 volt DC protection fuses, so that's all the 12 volt ones. So um, in position one, it's a 25 amp and it's white and that operates or protects the battery charger. And that's the same for all of those 12 volts. Um, over on this side, it gives you the mains of two volt, uh, 230 volt protection. So MCB1, it's a 10 amp rating and that's for the two volt, uh, 230 volt sockets.